Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now when we left off we attempted to defend something and we succeeded in doing so. I'm unsure whether we should start just allowing them to take it and then taking it back so that we can get more experience but uh, I don't know I think that might be a bit mm, maybe a bit too tedious but anyway I have attempted to get my sword leveled up but let me just tell you getting these slayer archetypes killed is much much more difficult than you can imagine and I've tried to kill Hura a number of times and I also tried to kill Kuga a number of times both of them just didn't accept defeat ever so <laughs> that was pretty impressive otherwise we're now with this guy that you see on your screen right now this guy is our current online fight pit champion well, technically I say champion, he's currently, well, he's currently won twice, I, I, or I think this is the second one maybe. Let's just take a look at how he's doing here. As you can see, he's against a level 53, and he is level 52. He's a poisonous one, so he obviously will inflict poison. These enemies that we've been up against have not had immunity to poison, which has had the massive, massive difference of just doing so much damage. There you go. There's the next one down. So I think that's actually the second win that he's had. There we go. Win streak two. Now we get the veteran pit fighters upgrade chest. I actually am unsure what that is. So we're going to check out those chests at some point in the future. And I guess we're just going to continue doing these until we until we lose, I guess. Until the venomous guy loses. What, what's actually going on here? Why can I not... Why can I not access this oh never mind okay <laughs> seems like there's some weird weird thing going on there anyway as you can see we can now get him a promotion isn't isn't he already epic i think he might already be epic so it's not really necessary for him to get a promotion to epic but it would be nice if he could win another one now let's see if you can get past me i'll break you Oh dear. Okay, I think we might have a couple of difficulties with this guy because he's a berserker and the only thing he's missing from being Nakra, basically, is a cursed prefix, you know, and a cursed weapon indeed. So yeah, he's probably going to be very difficult to kill because he has enrage mechanics as well. Ooh, we've able, well, oh, we were able to stun him, that's nice. He is immune to poison, however, so I think this is probably it. We're probably going to lose at this point. I've I chucked in a bunch of orcs to the online fight pits, and this is the only guy that has actually won a second time. So, yeah, it just seems like, yeah. I don't know. I think berserkers in general are very, very good at winning in these fight pits. And, oh yeah, let me just tell you. I actually sent in one of my legendary cursed mystics. And... I thought to myself, okay, he's going to probably do quite well. You know, I, I was expecting maybe two wins, maybe three, maybe even more if he was lucky. But, let me just tell you, he used the same ability, I, I, I think four or five or maybe even six times in a row, and did not hit his enemy once with his weapon. So you can imagine how that went. It was literally just him moving around, casting this one ability, which was uh, seeming to be quite an effective kind of curse bomb kind of thing but yeah apart from that he really didn't have what it took unfortunately I mean I think the behaviors of the orcs in the online fight pits are a bit weird sometimes so I think uh, yeah I think a number of you have also been having a couple of difficulties with that kind of thing now this guy was legendary so I guess that's that's just that's the reason I suppose I mean that that was that was pretty harsh, wasn't it? That was pretty harsh. Anyway, I'm gonna just place. Uh, I actually don't know who to place in the Overlord slot. I don't. I don't really mind to be honest. Okay, I'm just gonna place Shaka. Yes, he can go over there. And otherwise, I, yeah, as I say, I was trying to kill Kuga to get my sword upgraded. Didn't work. Didn't work. So I guess the one thing that we can do is just head on to the next region and participate in the next Shadow Wars. And it is not here, unfortunately. Okay, so we can go here, and who do we have? Oh, we actually have some really good people. Schoon! Schoon is here, and Nakra, Bootlick, and all of those guys. They're fantastic. 
We also have a siege in Saragost. How is Saragost doing? Not good, as you can see. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of off-screen work to get those guys up to scratch. Because it doesn't seem like we have anyone there that is capable of doing much. I think it's because we prim primarily got defeated in Saragos beforehand. And it, it's probably just that, you know, where there are no orcs in the garrison there. So hopefully we'll be able to change that as we go. So anyway... Let's see if we can defend here. I mean, I don't even know what our army's like here, so it would probably be a good idea to check it out real quick, just to make sure. All right, so we have Grogmaker, we have Nakra, we have... Ah, this guy could use a bit of a replacement, perhaps. Ah, uh, Ushak, Discipline Master. He's the Discipline Master. Okay, so where's the other one? Is he in Saragost? I think the other, the other Ushak is in Saragost. I seem to remember he's there. Ooh, Mozu the Gutless. He's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to place him here somewhere instead of Fubar, perhaps. There you go. He's level 50, and he's just really good, in my opinion. And let's place Discipline Master up here as well instead of this guy, I guess. And the Overlord actually doesn't really matter, so I guess I'm just going to leave him there. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, these are the best we're going to get. I mean, there is a level 44 there, but that's okay, I think. Right? I think that's okay. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to make my way over to the quest start area. Alright, so before we start this, let's just take a quick look at what they have and what we have. And, you know, then we can maybe find out a couple of things. Mounted cavalry, defenders, fiery beasts, wild drakes. So they're going full fire right here. And they're using inspiring banners as well. So we do have to be a bit careful about the berserking mechanics. Okay, so I haven't actually unlocked the final war chief slot here. So it would probably be a good idea for me to do that. Because then we can actually get that other guy in there again. Well, shall we? I actually am unsure who to get. Ooh, Moog. Moog the poker. Yes, you can go in there. Thank you very much. Okay, poison mines. That's what we're going to be going with. Poison mines, and we're going to be going for fire archers, in my opinion. And we'll go for eh, fire archers. Yeah, I guess. Fire archers and the drake as well. I think that might be a bit much. Should we go for caragors instead? Yeah, let's go for caragors instead. And then we'll go for cursed siege beasts. And I guess Defender, I guess we'll go for Defender Hosts as well, because I don't know about Savage Hosts being that good at the moment. We have Iron Gates, and we have Reinforced Stone Walls. There we go. Okay, so we are quite, yeah, I, think we're, I think we're pretty good right now, so we should be fine. Hopefully. It really just depends on what they tend to throw at us, and obviously... We need to make sure that our captains don't die, or in the... Do, are any of them slayers, by the way? I don't think any of them slayers, so it's not really... Yeah, well, it doesn't really make much difference, I guess. Let's actually just take a quick look at that. Can I do that? Can I do that while I'm actually in this? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's great. So, let's take a look. Nope, assassin, berserker, assassin, berserker, trickster, which is not going to really do anything and a tank okay so I don't have to worry about resurrecting any of them so we are going to be reviving them as much as we can so let's see what actually happens first off because I've learnt in the previous episode that it's probably a better idea to survey the surroundings of what's currently going on and then deal a little bit of damage as you can see we can deal some nice damage right here and maybe we could just go out there and uh, you know we might be able to do something like revive a bunch of them which would be kind of cool so let's see if we can make that oh did I really just lose all of that might well that's sad okay well I I'm actually unsure how I'm supposed to get that back now uh, what about this oh I really got hit by the fire that's sad as well okay never mind okay can I can I charm one of these maybe Yes, there we go. Give me that full health back. Yes, that's fantastic. Okay, and I can then dominate this one as well. And I'm going to get hit a little bit, but that's okay. I don't really mind about that. Can I do anything to this? Yeah, it's highly unlikely. Can I... Oh, I can shoot that. There we go. That's, that's, that's much better. Let's just dominate this. There we are. And then I can use it against some of them. But who... That guy over there, I guess. I'm actually hitting my own gate. That's probably not the best idea, is it? 
There we go. Alright, so now the Graug can go and run around a little bit, do its own thing, and uh, I'm going to go in and help with the enemy captains. It's probably about time that I do that. I mean, I, I did give a lot of interference out there, so I think that's pretty good. There's also a broken guy over here, which I'm going to be attempting to dominate as soon as possible. There we go. Does he have iron will? That's the question. Yes, he does. Wow. Okay. That is pretty impressive, so I guess I'll just I'll just kill him. I mean, he's only level 36, so I don't really desire to keep him around. There we go. All right, and we have Ushak the Trickster over here. He's enraged, of course. Oh, who's this? Oh yeah, all these guys are feral, aren't they? They're from the feral clan. Well, they're not that good, as far as I can remember, at least. So I don't really mind too much about... Oh, he's a Vault Breaker. Okay, well, that obviously changes things a little... Oh, wow. Yeah, that changes things around a little bit. Ouch. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of explosions going on here. That could be our fiery siege beasts, though. So, are they fiery? No, I thought they were cursed. Well, that's weird. Oh, okay, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. Can, can I please? Yeah, there we go. Give me that. The more Karagors we have helping us, the better. And this guy's almost dead. Can, do you think I can stun him? Maybe I can stun him. No. Really? Can I not? Okay, apparently I can't stun him. That's interesting. I can't ma uh, well, I can't vault over him and I can't stun him. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna guess I'm gonna dominate this guy if I can. If he has iron will, then obviously that's not gonna happen. No, he doesn't. That's great. Alright, yes. Go and fight for me. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we do have the next wave coming in there. So we have a level 42 and a 48. Probably gonna go to the 42 first. See what's going on with him. Oh, hello, he's a big guy. Ah, lovely fortress you have here. Correction. Lovely fortress I have here. Ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay, so yes, hopefully we'll be able to deal with him. I mean, it really depends on a number of factors. I'd like to actually get him because he has a pretty unique style. I like that. If at all possible. When is he actually going to attack me with his attacking things? You know, with the uh, the ability to counter him a little bit. That would be that, that would be kind of nice. Oh, there, there it was. Okay, that's done. And uh, no, I, I want to dominate this, please. Thank you. Yes. Okay, I wonder whether he's going to summon more. Yes, there we go. Now we can get some nice extra damage on him. Yes, there we go. There we go. That is what we need. And hopefully he doesn't have Iron Will. No, he doesn't. That's great. Okay, so this guy could actually be really, really good for us. Because I do need to upgrade my cloak still. So I need a Beastmaster to resurrect. So I'm not entirely sure if that's going to happen. But obviously he can't die in this particular siege. Because he's technically not recognized as being one of our people. And that's going to complicate things a little bit, as I've seen in previous sieges. So let's hope that we don't have any problems there. Otherwise, I do need to resurrect this fellow. Who's this? I think this is one of the bodyguards of one of our war chiefs. Okay, let's see if I can just get behind him a little bit. Oh, he's frostproof. Why do you keep fighting? You and your boys don't stand a chance. Uh, now, this guy is going to be pretty difficult to take out, in my opinion, because, well, shall we say, I'd like to get him as one of ours, but it's unlikely, I'd say. Perhaps, maybe. It depends whether I can vault over him a number of times more, or whether he adapts fast. Oh, no, there we go, we got him. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have Iron Will. If he doesn't have Iron Will, he's going to be a really, really nice addition to our band. He plays bass. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went there. Alright, well that's nice at least. So he can now help these guys. Schoon is there! Oh yes, Schoon. Very good. Very good, Schoon. Okay, so what the? 
What, what is this? A ghoul? What is a ghoul doing? It's a ghoul matron. What is a ghoul matron doing here? This is very strange. This is this is not like you at all, ghoul matron. Could you just leave me alone? That would be nice. Ah, Barga. Barga Graug catcher has killed Og Deathbone. Isn't he one of their own? I don't think that we have a person called Og Deathbone on our side there, so that's a bit weird. Anyway, this uh, this ghoul matron is wanting to attack me very, very much. But, well, I guess it doesn't matter so much because I can just go over here and resurrect this guy. I need to quite quickly do that. There we go. Nice fort you got here. But I was expecting entrails hanging from the walls. Let's fix that, shall we? Ah, Stakuga, ear collector. And here's the big guy himself. Every cry for help, every spirited defense, they're just delaying the inevitable. Oh, the inevitable, you say? Ah, yes, well, that is a matter of perspective, I guess. Okay, let's just take him out. Okay, he's frostproof. Uh, this guy is not frostproof, so that's obviously going to make things a little bit easier. I would like to... Ah, here we go. This might actually help us out. Oh. You were foolish to think you could hold a fortress in Mordor. And if you think you or any of your traitors will survive this day, you are more foolish still. Okay, so I was going to activate my wrath ability, so hopefully I can do that. There we go. And hopefully I'll be able to revive, or shall we say, resurrect a bunch. And then maybe I can do some damage not to the... Ah, not to the Graug. Not to the Graug. Come on, Talion. Really? Okay, well, doesn't matter so much. Let's just see if I can do a little bit more. Resurrect some. And I think that's all I'm going to get. Did we get any resurrections whatsoever or, or none? Seems like none. This guy's immune to executions as well. That's not very good. Okay, well, we got him. Oh, and he's enraged. Did he enrage? Or did he just get me with, like, a really, really crazy attack? Seems like he just got me with a crazy attack. All right, well, you're, you're mine now. Hopefully. Yes. Ooh, he's going to be really good. He's going to be really good in the fight pits. Fiery Feral Berserker. That's really good. That is a really, really good combination. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get some wind streaks, some glory, you know, all that sort of thing. Okay, so hopefully I can pick up some of these things. I know that the loot is automatically picked up, but I'm kind of a bit paranoid about that kind of stuff. Anyway, is is one of... Uh, did he just kill him or... Wait a minute, isn't that one of ours? Or is that one of his? Oh, that's one of ours. What? Is he... Ki oh, dear. It seems like that fellow has has enraged by everything. You know that, that thing where he attacks everyone in, in the vicinity? Oh dear. That's not particularly good, is it? Oh well, I'm gonna try and shame this guy if I can, because I think he's got a pretty cool style, and maybe we'll be able to, well, dominate him at a later point. This guy is really, really difficult to get, though, because it seems like he cannot be damaged by pretty much anything. Maybe I can finally get a nice execution on him. Yeah, there we go. Let's get him down there, and oh, these defenders. The defenders are so annoying. There we go. I think he's, yep, there we go. Okay, so now we can dominate him, and hopefully, no, 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 don't break it. Oh, dear. Yes, okay, so that's, that's also what happens every now and again. And now he's healed himself, kind of. And now he's adapted. Ah, oh, great. That's just how it goes, isn't it? Every single time. Maybe I can... Yes, there we go. Ground domination. Okay, so let's shame him. Hopefully he's not going to go deranged or anything from this, because I would not like that at all. No, nope, he's good. He's good. Nice. And he keeps all of his... Well, all of his stats, hopefully. And there's victory for us. Very nice. Because okay, so that's a good defense right there. Not too bad. They breached our walls pretty fast. Well, they breached the gate pretty fast. And, yeah, he lost four levels. We gained 83,000 experience. Pretty nice. 
And we have defended the region. And next up is Saragost, I suppose. And Saragost is probably going to be one of the places that I'll be spending quite a bit of time. Let's actually just go over there real fast. Just to see. Just to see who is actually there. Because I can only see three of them in the garrison right now. Which i got to say is a bit... <laughs> That's not very good. That is not very good, suffice it to say. So let's hope that we'll be able to, you know change that around a little bit, you know, so that they're a little bit better than they are right now. Not very good to see that they're having a bare bones garrison, especially if Ushak is here. If Ushak is... I think Ushak is here. I seem to remember that he is here, so... Yeah, he is over there. Yes, look at him. Look at him. He's a fiery dark berserker. He's just so, so powerful. Impossibly powerful. It's it's funny as well because he's actually not immune to anything with the exception of frost But everything else enraged by injury caragors and becomes enraged after he kills a beast Becomes enraged at the sight of a shadow strike enraged by cowards and drakes and he's just got a bunch of other things as well So that's really really good and his attacks deal immense damage and he stays enraged for a long period of time I mean, you know him, you know Ushak, don't you? Okay, so yeah, otherwise we're also gonna go and save Krosh because apparently now that has kind of reverted itself back to the way it was because initially initially when we actually lost this this fortress uh, there was no way for me to you know actually save him so it's kind of nice that we can now anyway I'm gonna sort all of this out and in the next episode we'll probably see some fight pits maybe from Ushak I don't really know whether I want to send him in because he's just so good and maybe that's the reason I should send him in. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.